Hey guys, it's Blade again from Cardi Security and today we're looking at the Kenwood Sirocco. This car has been in the scene for quite a while now, but today we're actually going to talk about it and go through what the day-to-day -day life of this car is like and what it's actually for. So stick around. So we've got the main man here, Keith, to talk about it. So what do we have here? So we've got our Scirocco, it's a two litre GT. So this was a bit of a project a few years ago where we got the Kaiser to make yep. um, a render for us and put it across what is this with the R bumpers, the boomerang arches and kit and obviously pretty crazy set of wheels yep. with the different fitment. Yeah, so it's, it's definitely a cool setup. So the people who don't know who Kaiser is, he uh, designed the wrap that we've got on our LTO uh, wide-bodied vehicle that we've done probably two, three years ago. So that's obviously who's designed this. Now, in terms of the setup, obviously this has got wide arches on it as well. So was that put on with delivery or was that... They went on at the same time, very motorsport inspired. It's part of a Japanese kit called Voomerang. Yeah. Um, and obviously sits over the, the rather big rotor forms. Yeah, so, yeah. So you've got obviously it's a different front to rear wheel setup with the rotor forms. That's sort of a homage to the Le Mans cars with okay, the, like yeah, the fan cooling on them. So actually, I forgot to mention this car's on air, right? It is indeed. So an airlift performance setup. It's had the full chassis notch, hence it goes down this low. Mm -hmm. um, it rolls like this, but we try not to because it's very, very like, it's you can get tight. a bit of paper through there, but yeah. that's about it. Yeah. Where's the air install? What have you done here? You've got just the rear tank on the rear seat delete, because of course once the racing seats went in, mm -hmm. the rear seat was redundant, so yep. it's, it's in there, and then everything else is underneath. Okay, so should we move to the boot? Let's see what's in the boot. Definitely. Right, so what have we got going on in here? So we've got four subs, all yep. in sealed boxes, really punchy, but really boomy. Yep. Um, each one's got its own amp. So a lot of power going through them yep. to create the noise that everyone knows. There's also another four channel amp hidden underneath, mm -hmm. um, which powers literally these oh, okay, little yeah. secret Speakers winners up here, yep. which is amazing. So when you're at your boot, they're playing it's nice and musical around. Yep. Um, and then there's another amp underneath powering the doors. So we've got a lovely set of components. There's actually two sets in the car. So you've got a full set of components both sides. That's mainly for volume because this car is very musical mm -hmm. and it does play very well. Mm -hmm. And two subs in the rear quarters as well, so it's got, and you can have it a bit more musical or you can go full boot open, draw a crowd in, um, and that's what it does best, draw a crowd in. Quite a lot going on. And then of course the screen as well, which is just a nice touch. Just, you've got the output on the head, all the head units output, yep. so rear entertainment. So you're showing the expansion of the head unit, the capability of the head unit, Ultimately, just by adding all these products. Yeah, exactly that. As we all know, it all starts the head unit, first yep. thing to change. Yep. Uh, we're currently running our 8021 in it. Yep. So wireless car play, uh, strong pre-outs, yep. great sound. Yep. It's, it's absolutely The phenomenal. best seller at the minute. And you're, yeah, exactly that. And so ideal for big sound systems or, or you know, everyday use. Cool. Yeah, it's good. It's, ba it's, it's basically a catalog in a car, draws mm -hmm. a crowd and yep. we can demonstrate every bit of a product with it. Just looking as well, this is a private plate on here, so what's that about? Yeah, you go for DAB. When DAB was switched on and the big switchover happened, yeah. um, the government basically asked us to build them a car. We had a little smart car for them. Yeah. It was all black and green, yeah. and it had that number plate on it. It was just DAB, you go for DAB. Yeah. And so I just suited that, that car, moved on, the switchover happened, but we were like, I could go on the demo car. Yeah, that works. And it's, uh, it does work, you go for DAB. <laughs> So we're inside the demo car. Talk to me about it. Indeed, <laughs> talk to you about it. So there's buttons, uh, which everyone loves to press. Yeah. With, with all of all of our systems, um, we've got separate control over the base, mm -hmm. base volume and turning the subs on and off. We can change all the lighting and all different things. A bit like our Defender, it's all built so that you can show different parts and, and put it all together. This is all switchable. Exactly that, mm -hmm. exactly that. Um, and then of course the, the 8021 given Everything that people are asking for now. Yeah, it used to be, how do I get my phone into my car? It was about USB, it was about Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. They moved on from USB to Bluetooth and they, obviously everyone wanted CarPlay and yep. now people are expecting wireless CarPlay. People think CarPlay is CarPlay, but you know, they, ultimately they are computers. So mm -hmm. having a better one, they're faster, slicker, they move through the menus quicker, they pair better. Yep. Um, Kenwood, all of our Kenwood products with wireless CarPlay have got two aerials as well, a bit like your home network, two different speeds, mm -hmm. 3G and 5G. Mm -hmm. Um, which works, it means in a bigger vehicle, it stays paired longer, 
if you stop to get out and open a gate or do something like that and leave it running, it will stay paired. So it's, it, they really are a good piece of kit. Definitely. And just to quickly touch on, you've got the Cobra wing backs with yeah. the tightening uh, yeah, the, inserts. They look yeah, the GTI, nice. GTI Jackamo nice. cloth uh, cool. def definitely does well. Right, so now we've got it running, I can kind of feel and hear that this isn't quite a standard car in terms of the engine side as well. It's not just the visually modified car, you've done other bits to it, right? Well, it's it's about credibility as well, isn't it? You mm -hmm. can't have a car that is a homage to a Le Mans car and mm. not have a bit of bark. So mm. yeah, it's it's got a remap on it. Yep. Um, it's got forged intercooler, all forged turbo pipe work, um, a load of goodies, so pipe across intake kit on it, uh, Miltec back box, it's just over 300 brake. Okay, so, so it's, yeah, it's it goes all right. Yeah. DSG, it's the two, it, two litre GT engine, so it does, it does go when it wants to. Not bad at all. I think that's pretty much everything. Thank you very much, Keith, for showing us a car. Um, that's it, guys, make sure you like, share and subscribe. And one last thing, Keith, can we see it going up and down, please? <laughs> a little bit of air.